morning boys and girls, grade 4. I want to welcome you to the Mafunzo New Curriculum, our art and craft lesson. As usual, I would like you to subscribe and view so that our channel can still continue. Today, I want to take you through the portal. That is modeling using paint technique. Now, boys and girls, grade 4. Modeling in art and craft involves shaping and uh, forming articles using malleable material. Now, when I say, when I talk about malleable, a malleable material is whereby such a material can be hammered or pressed into shape without breaking or cracking. That is the meaning of malleable. You can hammer, you can shape, you can press it into any shape without breaking that material. Now, these materials, uh, they are like clay, plasticine, paper mache. Paper mache is prepared by using water, papers, and of course, glue. You soak the papers in water, then thereafter, after you drain the water, you had some glue so that now the, the glue can make the papers stick together. Uh, in this technique of pinch method, the modeling technique, you make articles that are functional. Functional means these articles, they can help us in our day-to-day -day life. For example, a pot is functional because we can use it for cooking. A cup is functional because we can use it for taking tea or porridge, etc, etc. We can also make other containers like we can be used for decorating. Now, pitch method involves shaping containers of various sizes and shapes by pressing on the walls using thumb. This is the thumb and the four fingers. These are the four fingers, the tips. And it can be used to model simple functional uh, containers. Remember, I've just said functional containers, they are those containers which we use in our day-to-day -day life to assist us do something. Like a pot. It, we, uh, we can use it to cook a uh, cup for taking tea, flower vase for putting our flowers inside and order view. So some of these containers include cups, pots, boils, sugar dish and of course other decorative papers. Now, containers modeled in pinch or rather using pinch method, they are also commonly known as, they are commonly known as pinch pots. So boys and girls, as you watch this video, I would like you to see how we go about it. Look at the video, see the process. You will see how we prepare the clay into a ball. Then from there, once you make that ball of clay, how we pinch and continue pinching until you get the shape, the right size of shape of the container you want. Have a good time. Next time, I'll show you how we prepare the material. If it is clay, how, how you start the process, the process and the procedure of preparing clay, and finally, how you come up with the article which is in your mind. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Keep on watching. Now, when you are making a pinch article, this is how you go about it. You make the clay into a ball, as you can see there. And it has to be round very well. It has to be a ball. And then you can, you can roll it in your hands to make it round like that. You see? You can see if there's a crack somewhere. Then you use your thumb to pinch a hole. That is pinching. Press, put your finger through. Now you are pressing. Then once you do that, Take your, uh, you push your thumb inside, you've created a lot of space there. Now, using your thumb, continue, start pinching, start pinching. Now, that process is pinching, continue pinching around, making the space inside larger. Make it pinch harder so that the wall become thinner. You can also use your two thumbs the way you can see in my video there. And if there's a crack there, please fill it in. Now,
continue pinching until you get the right size yes just like that continue don't stop there uh, as you pinch make sure that the inside and the outside are smooth continue pinching continue try as much as possible to make the walls even more thinner continue press R and where a crack occurs in your clay you feel it Remember, the tops have to be also rubbed so that they can be smooth. Continue pinching the inside. You know, press hard, pinch hard, so that you can have a static of your size. Continue and also smoothen inside. Yeah, you are doing well. You can see now this is becoming a bit larger. Uh -huh, you still continue. You smoothen the top. Go around, turn around, smoothening the top, just like that. Uh -huh. The walls are becoming thinner as you continue pinching, you are smoothening, and automatically you are using the thumb fingers. You continue that way, turn it around, turn it around as well. You can see very well, very good, good job. Yes, that way you continue. Remember, the four fingers are working from the outside, inside it is the four fingers. You are still pinching, you are pinching, you are, you are pressing inside with the thumbs. You continue and now it is getting into a very good shape and there you are eh? it is almost finished your article is almost finished and then now you can give it a, an, a, an equal an even top by placing it on the table continue even the outside must be smooth as you can see eh? the inside is very smooth there you are and now you have uh, you have now you have finished article thank you very much boys and girls i'm sure now you are able